So our next step is to install a repo. So repo is nothing but a wrapper on top of Git. So this is created by Google to make the AOSP source code management a little bit better. So in case if you don't know what Git or repo is, just keep in mind that they are source code management tools. So these tools help us to manage the source code and track the changes of your project. Okay. So to download repo, now let's head to source.android.com. We need to basically execute these commands as we did earlier. So this command will install repo from the official package available in the Linux distribution. So in case if this doesn't work, you could directly download repo using the curl command. Okay. So let's try this command first. So this is pretty straightforward. Let's paste it. So now install repo. So I have got a problem unable to locate repo. So now let's head back to sourcerandroid.com. Now let's try the second method. So in this method, we are just using the curl command, command, curl command. So this basically downloads um, repo tools from this server. Okay. So this curl command is basically to download or um, download something from an external server. Okay. So let's execute this now. Just copy this first line. Okay. Copy CURL one. Yeah, this looks fine. And set up some receiver key. Okay, receive failed server indicated a failure so while installing repo i ran into a problem so i was not able to install repo by using this method so the, here the repo is not actually available in the repository for 20.04.2 version okay so if you have an ubuntu version uh, which is 18.04 or prior to that you will not have this problem so you should be able to install the repo but unfortunately in the latest ubuntu version you don't have repo available in the ubuntu repositories so these uh, these commands will not work for you if you have the latest ubuntu okay so even in my case i was not even able to install um repo like this because i was receiving issues while uh, trying to receive this particular key using gpg command okay so these two methods were actually not working for me but i was able to find a different solution for that which is uh, pretty simple i'll quickly show you uh, that so here is the solution so first basically you need to simply pull repo into bin repo folder okay uh, like this so it if you run it for the first time it will download it and then after that just change the permission by using the ch mode command like this okay and then you can check um, the version and you should uh, find the version if it is installed successfully okay so in my case i have already installed 2.17 okay so this is applicable only in case if you have the latest ubuntu but if you have the older uh, older version of ubuntu uh, whatever commands mentioned in the source.android.com should be fine